use a messenger because I stole the machine. Grant, do you have any school stuff that you should be doing? Always. That, that, <laughs> I've noticed my grades back when I used to really. Grades have done well, but my papers went from A minuses to like B's and B minuses. And it's all because I don't do them until the day of, usually. Have you ever considered getting a locker at the no. library? No, I don't want to get beat up. Not that anybody <laughs> beat me up, but no. Uh, I, I personally, I hate being at the library because it, it's it's depressing me at the library. Because you know, the only reason you're there is because you're studying. It's sure. No enjoyment. You're sure. just there to study. So I, I never go. Even if I'm like crammed with work, I just study here because I feel more comfortable. Because like, you can walk around library. It's just I guess you're in the zone at the library, but no. Sure. I would never want to turn my life over to the library. Uh, I tend to procrastinate. How often do I procrastinate? Yeah, how often? Uh, I don't know. Uh, probably, if I have four assignments each week, I probably procrastinate three times a week. I'll just say that. Three times a week, all right. Yeah, in fact, this one time in high school, ho ho. I did myself in pretty bad. I had this chemistry project to do, and I had to make a, a working model of the human, the human digestive tract. Ouch. Yeah, it was pretty rough. What did it, what did it end up looking like? Ah, uh, big piece of crap. <laughs> big that's, piece of crap. That's what it ended up looking like because I waited until the last night to do it. What does your mom think of your procrastination? What did she say when you got that D? Wow, she wasn't very happy. No. Uh, cameraman, I tell you what, she was pretty mad at me. She uh, she actually took away my video games for wow. a few days, and that hits home. And would you ever uh, attend the library on a Saturday night or a Friday night? No, man, that's... I think I might have tried it once, but at my old school, it was closed, thank God. But, uh, no, nah, that's just... Uh, maybe some people like that, but for me, that's that's depressing. It's It sucks when you find yourself in that position where you know you uh, you had other things to do and you felt you used your time and you thought you acclimated it to the best sources, but yet you still find yourself struggling to get uh, to get a project done. For the first three weeks I was here, I didn't have my TV down here or any gaming system, so it was just computer and then homework. So I was productive, but I, it started to get to a point where I wasn't even that productive because I was so bored. Like my mind was fried. I had nothing else to entertain itself outside of studying and that. Right. So I had to. <laughs> I had to get it, that's bad, dependent on it, but mm -hmm. just get, it gives you something to look forward to or something to work towards. Like, oh, if I study hard for 35 minutes, I can watch TV for a little bit and then go back to it, so. You need that balance, though, because, I mean, the reason that's such good academics is because kids work their asses off, and you work your ass off, you're pretty dang stressed. You need something to do. I think if you work hard, you deserve the opportunity to be a college student outside of study and just enjoy the social. You know, you're in a hurry, and there aren't many computers to use in the library, and these kids are checking Facebook. What do you think of that? Oh. That kind of makes me upset because, uh, yeah, exactly. When you're in a rush, you're trying to get stuff done for school where you actually have something important to do, and you see all these, all these kiddos, all these girls checking their Facebooks and looking at pictures and comments and whatnot, and you're sitting there, hey, I got stuff to do. Watch a lot of TV. I think a lot of it is just you get stressed. Like I, don't, I can't sit down and work for three hours straight. Like right. my mind gets fried. I need 
break. So I could maybe like 20 minutes on, 20 minutes off, mm -hmm. like an ice pack. To each their own, it's every person's choice. If you want to choose to uh, to waste your time, that's your choice. It's going to be there now tomorrow night. Yeah. No wings down. No wings. LeBron. The Big Gen Network. Have you ever skipped class to... All the time. All the time. What, uh, what do you do when you skip class? Uh, a lot of times when I skip class now, it's to uh, prepare for a class I give more of a shit about. I skip a science class a lot so I can get some screenwriting done for my screenwriting class. Or... Uh -huh. but, yeah, but that all usually leads back to procrastination because I didn't get enough done before that I'm like, oh crap, now i got to skip this class too um, so I could be better prepared for this class. Grooming. Um, that's something I came up with a few weeks ago. I was trying to write a paper and I got bored or frustrated so I took a break and uh, what you do is you just uh, you take the broom and the mop and you just put it behind the person's door if they've actually gone to the bathroom upstairs or whatever so when they walk in you always make a lot of plastic and falls and crashes and then Yeah, actually, Dave, uh, I gotta get going though, man. I gotta write a paper for my 10:30 class, so. Um... All right. Yeah. I'll see. You. All right, man. Thanks a lot, Jeff. See you. See you. Enjoy college a little bit. Right. Um, Best years of your life. Yeah. Right? So it's the one time that you're pretty much not responsible. The only thing you're responsible for is yourself and just being somewhere on time. I see. Get degrees. You wanna know what the, uh, what they call the guy who got last in med school? What do they call him? They just call him doctor. Doctor. <laughs> It doesn't yeah. matter, you passed. Exactly. See, and then you're in cricket. Yeah, it's just it's about procrastination. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, I got that. It was like four bucks. I was like, oh, I got that there. I'd have to say that that person's a poor SOB. Because, <laughs> uh... And then my roommate's calling on the phone. Some dude picks up. He's like, hello. And the dude's like, what's up? And my, my roommate was like, who is this? And he's like, it's Zarden. And he, <laughs> roommate was like, who in the heck is Zarden? I'm like, oh, my teacher. I had left it in class. Thank sure. you, Zarden, if you see this, for uh, picking my phone up.